find me where the wild things are. If you go down to the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you'd better go in disguise. You know, us normal pumpkin people. My name's Flossie. This is my home, Sire and the Step Van, my self-converted RV, tiny cabin on wheels. I love playing around in the woods and more than anything celebrating the turn of the seasons. After roughing it, living on the road in and out of cities for the last four and a half years and spending almost two years building out this new van, I'm now out here to enjoy the fruits of my labours. Nature's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold, her early leaves a flower. My solar panel pulling in over 400 watts and it's autumn sun and then I'm charging also here with my alternator charging too. But only so an hour then leaf subsides to leaf so Eden sank to grief so dawn goes down today nothing gold can stay. Who knows where that goes, because it's not cleared. And I have some friends coming to join me, and we're going to be doing some fun things to celebrate Halloween. Or All Hallows Eve, if you want to really tap into some of the historical tradition of the 31st of October. <sighs> so happy, so I want my pumpkin, and I've got to hollow it out. We're going to have a good time. last full sunny day before it rains. I don't know how long it's going to rain for but we're expecting rain for a few days which the earth very badly needs. I'm a bit sad about it. You might not think, oh, you're in a child. But I challenge you to unpack our society's suppression of childishness. Play is important. Play is so vital to us at all ages. That free spirit, creative, playful energy that we all have is criticized and denied and we are denied access to it as it is quote-unquote childish. I challenge you to let this go. Play is natural, creative, and restores us, helps us come back to ourselves, and is necessary regardless of our age. Share with me my love of fall celebrating the yellows and the oranges of the seasons as I watch the colors of the leaves change. So I'm expecting some friends. Hopefully they can find me here in the forest. Who knows if that's possible. I have warmed up the fireplace because I wanted to start some bread. I am embarking on a learning to bread make situation and I'm excited about it. And I have some rice sitting on the stove cooking too because I am hopeful. And we'll have time to have some dinner or some food at some point. So let me show you. Wish me luck. There's dragonflies all over the top of the van. I got friends coming to find me and I just had to turn the Starlink on because there is virtually no reception here 
at all. And I was like, they're lost. They didn't have Google Maps. I sent them a pen, um, but they couldn't find it. So I sent, called them because they have the internet. <laughs> and I'll probably leave it on until they get here and then turn it off. But because I have had all of this beautiful sunshine, I have plenty of power to run it and it is relatively unobstructed so once it figured out which direction it needed to point the Starlink has helped me out yay <sighs> I'm gonna go back to what I was doing before which was starting to get a fire set up They should be coming from that direction. Uh, I've put a little fire pot pile here because this road is inaccessible. And the van is parked here. Huh. Fingers crossed they get here and find me okay. The idea is to get all this to burn right down, create some embers, and then we can put the bread baking right on top. So it won't be hot and flaming all like this for very long. I'm going to carve it very soon. And it fits. fits over my head. So I'm going to be a pumpkin head. <sighs> Fingers crossed that my friends can find me. This little fire is going too. It's only teeny tiny. In order to warm the top. To rise my bread. Which is definitely rising. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. So lovely. So I have my Dutch oven here already heating up. The van and the Starlink is in the background and I am a happy camper. This is the kind of place that I love to be. And on such a beautiful day, it's scheduled to rain tomorrow. So I am making the most of this. And it's getting bigger. That's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, these guys are smart and left the tops in. And I made a mistake and cut that out. There we go. So my hair's going to top it, stick out the top and look funny. Yep. Slowly but surely. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. It's going to be better. That side? Mm. That side? That side's like the biggest up Um, that, that one. one. I like that, that one. one too. It has a little, a couple of markings on it, but it should yeah, be good because fine. you're going to cut a lot of it off. I feel so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, looks you look cool. A little ridiculous. <laughs> it looks cool. I like the yellow hair singing up with the yellow bandana. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna make a face up unless. Cool. But I like your one, how you had the teeth. Yeah. So the eye should probably be like here, so the mouth should be further down. Mm. Yeah, it's hard when money's tight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I think it's everybody's kind of feeling the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I just made a choice to choose a job that is going to make me happier and <laughs> yeah less money yeah and yeah. and you're still brewing stuff in the like in the meantime you know yeah like pursuing like, youtube and um exactly you know oh yeah what do you <laughs> think i love cool. it i like the eyes yeah and the upside down heart yeah <laughs> okay here goes let's try and cut great. it out yeah <laughs> Now, I hope I put the eyes in the right place, but I think so. Just make them extra big. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. A little cute teeth. Yeah. Can I see yours? You guys are much quicker than I am. Oh, those are so sweet looking. Yeah, like, like kind it. eyes. Oh, they are Aww. very kind eyes. Ooh, what, you're, yeah. You're <laughs> Woo! Teeth. Yeah. I can actually see. There's my eyeballs. Right. Now, check me out. Check me out. Okay. okay. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. You've got great vision through there. Yeah, you got you got some big eye holes there. <laughs> yes, I do. You are not gonna, no breaking necks is gonna happen. 
<laughs> Don't even think about it. Sort of. Whoa! Boop. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. Mm -hmm. Love how it brings out a whole new level of dancing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and what dance moves can you come up with as a pumpkin head? Oh, that's so funny. Tasty. Oh, it started to bake a little bit on the bottom. Oops. Beautiful. Probably should need it again, but I'm not gonna. Ow. They're working, they're working. Woo! That was awesome, they came straight to me. Now, very quickly, which is good, because if it stayed like this, it would burn my bread. But hopefully that keeps the embers nice and hot to bake the bread. Pretty, pretty. Oh, they do look similar. Yeah, right? but gills. see, this has gills, and chanterelles don't have gills. Oh, like you look crazy. <laughs> My hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Great job, pumpkining. Great job. Great job. High Great five. job, D. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Alright, I'm done for the day. Me too. Ooh -wee. <sighs> oh yeah. Good job, pumpkin. Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was so great. Was it? <laughs> I love it. It's that good. was a, a grand great, old time. A great clothes. <laughs> Slowly but surely, I've been like uh, collecting, collecting all these like some materials. Yeah, for whenever we do our build or van mm -hmm. builds and such. So. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll try. Oh, we need a backer. <laughs> that makes well, great for that. rise very well but it looks tasty and it smells good mm -hmm. I'm gonna dip mine. Mm. that's really good that's not bad mm -hmm. it's not heavy like a flatbread mm -mm. no mmm oh it's nice and savory mm. peace for you mm. thank you delicious. so for the surface of the cap bald not sticky or slimy yeah, I think they're Grace. pretty good. Yeah, so that's the spongy texture of a bolete. I've been looking up mushrooms because I'm currently cooking up a bolete mushroom. A bolete mushroom that I picked the other day and it's really tricky and important to know that you are eating an edible one and not a poisonous one. So I've been doing some research before I eat anything and making sure it's super well cooked. Probably put a tiny bit too much oil, but it's going to be tasty. And my tea is steeped and warmed up. Tasty, tasty mushrooms. I'm going to let that cool down before I eat anything. And I'm going to eat a teeny tiny bit to begin with to see if it makes my tummy upset. I cannot walk through my life without seeing them. Guys, girls, folks, silently calling, crying out to be noticed. They think they are normal. I say they are not. They are empty, hollow shadows and ghosts. Their silent cries falling on deaf ears around them reveal to me who they are. The outsiders. They cannot escape reality, so they close it out, huddling themselves into the illusions of who they pretend to be. I alone seek their truth, but I cannot reveal it from not of their world. I am of a magical world, another land, a different reality. If you enjoyed this video, 
and the effort it took to put into it and make it for you and the joy hopefully that I have shared with you as much as I experienced joy making it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to read the full post about the history of jack-o'-lanterns and what the myths and legends bring them together, jump over to my Patreon page and read it there. I will see you all next week with another video. Thank you so much.